But honestly, it's just going to be staying on the cold side here for the rest of the morning hours. So make sure you bundle up. Barely an improvement, though, going into the afternoon. This is now 3 o'clock, and this is what it's going to be feeling like outside for most of the valley. It's only going to be feeling like somewhere between about 5 up to about 15 degrees. So we can't uh, stress enough that you really need to be dressing warm. Frostbite definitely could be an issue if you are outside for a prolonged period of time, and especially if you're dealing with some of the snow. So be very careful out there. Tonight, though, going closer towards about 8 o'clock, still feeling around between 0 up to possibly 10. 10, 12 degrees, and then tomorrow morning we're going to be repeating it much of the same story where we're going to be waking up with temperatures around the zero degree mark. Some places it's going to be feeling like below zero. At that point, it just doesn't even matter because it's just cold outside. But at least going into the afternoon tomorrow, it should be warming up. We'll be feeling warmer, still have a little bit of a wind. At least it'll feel more like the upper 20s. I know it's not necessarily a very high number, but it's certainly going to be better than what we're experiencing for today. In fact, our high temperatures are only going to be in the low and mid 20s for your Saturday. And then tonight, we should be falling down into the mid and upper teens. Let's go ahead and show you what we have in terms of any kind of snow chances. But for right now, it looks like we're just going to be keeping around at least the light snow through the rest of the day. Cloudy skies tomorrow. We're going to try and break it up as much as possible, but some models are still indicating we could have overcast, mostly cloudy skies. We'll see a few breaks in the clouds for tomorrow, but luckily we wouldn't have to worry about any kind of snow. We finally get a day break from that, but temperatures going back into the low 40s for tomorrow. Hopefully it should melt away some of that snow once again, so roadways are actually going to look way better for tomorrow. That's going to be the better day to travel. Now, Monday, Watching our next system come in, bringing in more rain and snow lasting on Tuesday. And then another one's following suit for New Year's Eve on Thursday. Starts off as rain, switches over to snow, very much like what we saw with our Christmas storm. But that one's not looking like it's going to dump nearly as much snow. But that's definitely one to look out for, especially people are going to be outside, maybe shooting off some fireworks for New Year's Eve. For right now, it looks like around the midnight hour, we actually could be dealing with some heavy snow. So that's a forecast we're going to have to keep an eye on, at least for right now. Again, better day to travel will be tomorrow. Not only is it going to be warmer, it's going to be drier. Watch out for those systems both Monday and Thursday, and it looks like we're going to be starting off 2021 on a cold note with some snow showers on Friday.